folks, welcome back to Ostrov. We are in August, we are harvesting, and we are carrying heavy logs on our shoulders. And I don't see their heads. They must have heads. There they are. No, I don't know. I think they're... Yep. <laughs> I think those logs are taking the place of their heads. We've got a new family moving into somewhere. Uh, what have we built lately? Did show path work? I I didn't click it. Okay. Um, boy, you got me. Through here. Not coming out that bridge. Oh, the row house. Okay, right in there. Well, that answered that question. All right, so we got our first row house last episode. The store. Still waiting for those dried fish to to appear, but they'll get there eventually. And we're going to then build a second row house, a three-story, right next to it. And I'm thinking a third one right here next to that. And that should give us, well, should give us eight. The other one, should we assume it's just another eight? Probably the same. Meaning that is taking the place of one of the apartments. So it'll take the place of, you know, apartment one out of six or something like that for the next one. So probably eight, eight, and eight. Twenty-four items or six stalls worth. So there are items out here that we don't actually have stocked. She's got nothing at the moment. So it's quite possible that if we plan it right, we can, you know, set those up properly. You know, she's only got beetroots out of all of hers. But, you know, there's a lot of cabbage that's coming. I don't want to eliminate these things because as new houses get built... Suddenly we have a lot of cabbage coming. And what do you think that is? Hmm. Don't know. We do have pumpkins. And more pumpkins. And more pumpkins and more pumpkins and more pumpkins. I don't know how we didn't buy pumpkins last year from anywhere. But we've definitely got pumpkins coming up this time. So whichever stall had the pumpkins is... Do we even have pumpkins out here? There you are. Oh, we have a... Not nice apricots. There's a pumpkin. So she should have something in her stall next next season. All right. So how are we doing at our tavern? 47.04. Okay. So we're holding around that 50 mark. By we raise their taxes up. So we'll see if they drop back down. We're only selling meat at the moment. So we need to get the other ones going. And that's not going to happen just yet because we need to... I was planning on putting that in over here. So we'll just be buying our, our booze for a while. We could put some of it through here as well. Maybe in both sides of the, of the river. That's possible. Could farm in fields and then hops through here. Yeah, maybe. Then the distilleries out over here somewhere. Yeah, that's possible. Anyway, we're working on the Ashery, the first of two. And we've got only three guys set up for it because it is um, harvest season. So this side's almost done. You're harvested, you're fallow, you're harvested. And this one's hard to tell, but we're over here. A little bit of a difference in height. So I guess we're just, what is this, hemp? So, for some reason, we're only taking the top half of the hemp off. I've never harvested hemp, so I can't say that's right or wrong. It just feels odd. Like, these should just be stubs on the ground. Hmm. Okay, how are we over here? Doesn't look too good. No, we're still working on field one. The potatoes. And... What is that? Sunflower and buckwheat over here and oh we've got quite a few people I just I'm guessing that they haven't arrived yet one two three four five six seven they're all here oh we've started over here now and these ladies are also working in the field so they've only been doing potatoes so far so none of that needs to be threshed so as this group comes in then the the workers will stay indoors and continue threshing the sunflower yeah 
All right, so I don't see any traders about. So what else is going on today? We did get these planted out. And not a lot of color in there, just kind of brown and green, huh? What else do we add to something like this to make it look better? Um, well, we could lilac kind of in between and around. I suppose lilac... When I held the shift, no, I held the caps lock. Try that again, lilac. So I went there. You can be kind of need to remove one tree. Now let's let's see. I did that. So there's two lilacs in a row there, and then maybe toward the back side, there and there. And we didn't put any of the Gelder roses in. So let's put you right there and there. Now that's a lot of shrubberies. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? This guy here, I thought about making this a destination. So, not a pathway through. We'll fence it off back here and seal it up. But what if we were to... Hmm, how best? Let's go over the top. Like that. And bench. We'll do the fancier benches and let's do it this way grab me one of these right click and grab a fancy bench now we are aligned so if you were to come out the door but how far I want a little bit of a pathway in between of, of rock and I can't put the oh I can so I can build the rock right up against that okay um, how am I going to figure out how to make it the same distance out each time? Maybe we'll do the rock first. Maybe that's better. You are the fourth one. You're right there. So if I were to... Or do we just stone the whole area? You know, kind of a thing... Like this? Well, the chances of me getting that looking just right, yeah, not too good. I wish I could stone a whole area and have it just clip out the building in between. That would be easier. So, yeah, it does need to be the whole area. It needs to be here. Let's see, let's get closer. Well, let me go all the way up into there. It will. So there, out to there. You can kind of tell when you're off because it, it, it builds the stone underneath. So I'm off right here, actually. Now. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad, but not too good either. Let's go with that. And let's... See if it will just kind of merge through. Something like that. And then one more time. And I did it even with the front. So I guess we'll go this route. All right, well, we'll just see how that works. Once it's done, then maybe I'll place the benches. But we'll get stone around the perimeter put a, a bench out each path and then maybe take the fence across like so I don't know we'll figure it out might be nice if the tavern had a little sitting area out there but I don't have any kind of tables or any other way to do that these could probably go away they were meant for something else and they're not necessarily in the right place anymore but well I don't know what this is gonna look like when it's done so I'll leave the bushes for now and take them out later if we need to. Otherwise, we're running nice and slow and probably wish I hadn't done that. Let's see how the ashery is coming. We're still bringing materials over because we're only two guys? Why only two guys? It's always been three. What changed? Uh, right there, seven and three. Why are there two assigned to the current building? I don't know that I've seen that before. So here, three guys now. 
That was odd. Huh. Oh, well. Keep it going. And a well. Okay, I put the well in over here. And then we got these three houses that are going in next. So that well's next. Then the other warehouse, just to complete that pattern. And the other ashery and the soap works. Let's put that ashery there. And even kick it back a little more. One ashery, one soap works. And then get to work on this guy. And then we're going to start working on... What are you? You are a school. I set a school in there. That's right. So we've got a school over here. And not as full as we were. We've got a school down over here. And only about half used. And I figure a school out over here. These neighborhoods are probably going to continue to grow up into this area. So a school over there and a school over here ought to cover most of this ground. Then we'll look at other support services around this area. Now, what's it taking for you guys to get enough stuff? Are you actually doing anything? You're probably coming back from a market. You look like you're part of a... Now, what are you doing? Let's pause here, because I can't catch her. She's carrying eggs. And you are... Unemployed, not doing much. Our meals are becoming quite monotonous lately, as we only have eggs. <laughs> well, she... Did I lose her? There she is. And the symbol went away because eggs were enough to complete their variety that they need. Okay, that's good. So, we done with the harvesting up here. I believe we are, and we may even have everything brought in. We do. So no more laborers are needed here. Everybody else is available for this side if they will go far enough over there to do the work. And we actually are. We're we're working on the last field now. So we'll just we'll see how this goes. Um, how are we doing wool wise? We are well into the year. We have no wool left over here. We have some over here, and we've stored a bunch over there. So, you guys are going to continue until October, September, October. Then you're going to get started again in April. So, it looks like we're making a little more wool than we can handle in a fulling mill with the amount of time we have set up right now. Marifa, what are you up to? Marifa buys our salt. But they only want 523 right now. Okay, let's head over here, get them going. So, salt. Okay, well, 525, we'll call it. Apparently, we didn't get it all down here last time. Or we're still bringing it in. Ah, look at that. They were still picking up from last time. So, 523, but it's probably changed by now. World map, pause. Where are you? We're still 523. Okay, so let's do that. 560 now. There it is. So we'll do the 560 and change you to 560. All right, so that's done. What else? To sell to Marifa. Dried fish. Now we'll keep that. Sunflower oil. We'll keep that. Buckwheat flour. Still zero flour. Hmm. Interesting. So, what is actually going on over here? We have one worker. You're buying food. So, these guys were all... Well, what were they? They were, they were only fired for August, but they're not rehiring very quickly. I'm guessing the last time they never rehired the whole time. So, you are... We're paused. You are on your way in. No, if you're buying food, then you're just beginning your... Uh, your break so you loaded us up that's what happened and then you went on a break okay so back over here anything else we can do here flour sallow chicken eggs horseshoes metal parts flax okay what can we buy from you hemp wheat honey textile broadcloth warm clothes nothing okay so that takes care of that one and how are we over here? We ordered two carts. We got them. 
Um, I don't see any other exclamation points, so we have caught up on carts. At least one in every one now. You're fully replaced, you're fully replaced or repaired, and we've just got one guy doing all the work. And he's fine. So Metal Parts 38, he's caught up with everything. You guys are making Metal Parts. It's probably time to shift you back to Nails also. And this time, maybe we'll just leave you at Metal Parts. And we'll go a little bit f longer. And then... Actually, we're running out of charcoal again. And we're out. Let's take you back down to... 2. Where is that? Right there. And... You guys as well. Take you back down to 2. Uh, there. And there. Okay. Now I need to get charcoal delivered. And... Getting that done is... I guess I'll have to manually do it real quick so the best way to do that can I cart I can't cart out of these guys right let's find one out of the charcoal pits pretty sure I have to you I can I can okay well let's cart 2000 to oh it's a long crawl up here I will do you first to there so apparently the carters will load right out of the charcoal pit. Interesting. And another 2,000. Two. Right there. Okay. Well, that will get charcoal coming, and someone else has already done the work since it took me that much time to crawl back and forth through the, across the map. Yep, it's already coming in here too. Okay, well, we're going to be loaded heavy with charcoal for a while. Okay. So, you are having a problem because we're down to one worker for October. We're at 12 logs. So, let's just do September, October, and March. So, we'll get back to that original pattern for the... Uh, for the farms okay so that means we're just waiting to hire and we're going up to five full workers now because we're clearing the road but we're actually almost done there yeah so yeah it'll be interesting to see what they do when they either hit 18 logs or they finish off all their X's hmm then do we just have five guys sitting there working by just sitting in there for their entire shift? That's when I balk and say, uh-uh, and fire them all. So, and then things never quite work well after that. Um, what else? You are a full storage over here, which is because of... I don't know, but I don't think we need to be storing bark anymore. You can go away. Bark is stored back over here for the tannery, so don't necessarily need that. Though I am going to need bark over here, too. I forgot about that. So you are going to hire soon. 28. Yep, it's time to get this going. So one worker here. They're going to go for a batch size of 150 to start with. And you should probably take it's like 2,000 bark and lime, right? Lime, there you are. Let's try 2,000 of you. And we still need to get a worker hired over here. Let me take another peek at this, remind myself. So you guys, not a thing to remind me. Yep. Then we, we do have three cycles going, so it was, it was good to have left that third worker in there. It does happen at times. Okay, we would have lost a batch. So we have stored over here bark and lime and salt. Uh, okay, so bark, lime, and salt we'll put into here as well. Uh, where now the salt was? Was it for the tannery, or was it for the slaughterhouse? Now I don't remember. I can probably read about it, but what fun is that? Okay, so yep, salt, lime, bark, water. Okay, so they're getting set up for their next one. So some salt over here as well. Uh, right down there, we'll do 2,000 of that. 
And that leaves us 3,000 wool. There. There's 10,000 capacity. They'll probably fill these up, so the 3,000 is probably good to have in there. Though I wouldn't think we'd ever have 3,000 piled up, but who knows? It may be possible. May have to get this guy fired up soon. We'll see. So that takes care of them. You are going to eventually go get all the stuff. And... We're already starting to move items into here. Either by... Actually, by uh, labor at the moment. Okay, so in here... We have, we have access to water, so that's going to be fine, too. We've got milk leaving. Awaiting and leaving, so cycling through. Lots of hay, lots of water. And 28 sheep. Okay. So that is working. These folks were desperately needing water. They're, they run out, and they're heading to a well. Water. Waiting to see one of these green lines go there. Um, child has been born. Let's see what these folks need. Uh, let's see. They are offering iron. We made a lot of metal parts. Iron. Right there. Still 1,200. And while I'm here, leather. Uh, is not listed at all. So it's everything we have is being stored. So if that comes up, we'll grab some leather as well. So world map and iron, horse, sheep, lime, charcoal, nails, and stone. Uh, stone, I'm still sitting at 10,000, so I'm fine that in that regard. Ashery is done. Let's go take a look at that. Uh, they want to buy flour, potatoes. We've got 1,200 potatoes. We know they're going to rot before this time next year. So let's sell 600 of those. And deal. And over here, potatoes. There you are. 600 temporary. And you want to buy leather, textile, cloth, sallow, sunflower, oil. Now we're starting to build some up. Let's do 600. So, sunflower oil. And temporary that one as well. Are we done? Metal parts, leather, textile, horse tack, honey. We've got 2,000 honey. Let's sell 1,000 of it. And deal. And move that into here. And I'd say we're done at that point. Right there. Not 12,000. There you are. Okay, that's done. And ashery. Right over here, you. Let's throw in two workers. At this point, we'll make them... Oh, so you need... No, this is what we can make. Okay. So... Soapworks. Uses. Okay. Carried out mixing and boiling tallow cow fat with lye. 50 tallow, 50 lye, 50 firewood. So we need lye to get that going. Okay. So the other ingredients in the ashery must be for other things. But right now, we especially want lye. So if we were to make just lye, let's see how that works. How do we make lye? Liquid lye can be... Okay, ash can then be soaked. So we need ash to get the lye. Soaked in water to produce lye. Okay. So we need equal quantities of ash. Is that what I'm getting? Huh. We'll go with that for now. And we'll worry about potash some other time. I'm not even sure what that's used for yet. So we'll try those two products and see if that works. Well is done. That's over here. So we should get started soon on the house next to it and get this pathway trained up this space right here. So wait till this builds and we'll throw a fence across and try and make that work. Okay, so we are into November. The farms have been harvested. All the product has been brought in. Okay, and we still have goods to get out of here. No, they're, those goods are coming in. Okay, so they're building the small granary eventually. Okay, so over here we can now afford those and these. And 
Eh, we'll go year round. What did we do over here? We did all five, right? Yeah. So, and we got all checked now. Maximum fullness 50%. Yep, both of them. Alright, we'll go with that. Uh, three more to be built. There's two working here. And they are bringing, you're bringing a load of something. And you are, the cart's still here. Okay, so you are taking a rest, I see. So next is the warehouse. And you are unloading timber, or lumber. And that one's ready to go. So we should see all of the builders show up at some point. I think there'd be a whole line of faces here right now. Where are you guys at? You're over here at the Soapworks. The next one. That's interesting. So I guess you're all delivering materials, supplying resources. There you go. And once that's done, you'll get back to the to this one. Now that all the materials are there, you can get started. Ah, I get it. Okay. And I have had to pause three times now to stretch my muscles out. It's something to do with holding my hand in the position on the keyboard to run the WASD. It is just locking up the muscles behind my shoulder blade here in my neck. So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out and get something, you know, do something about that. I don't know if that's physical therapy or just a visit to a chiropractor or what. But... I wonder if there's going to be a time when I'm not going to be able to play play a game and record videos for a while while I let whatever that is heal. Yeah, I can just I can feel it buzzing all down my arm and down into my middle finger. So it's definitely pinching down on a nerve somewhere when my arm's in this position. So that's not good. Anyway, um, I saw that the yards are all done. So let's see how that's working. Over here, do we have them? Do we have them? We don't have pumpkins. We still don't have pumpkins. Hmm, so the places that have pumpkins are, don't have enough, let's see, here maybe? They must not have enough food to sell anything. There's pumpkins, there's only 21 there. Oh, come on. There were all kinds of houses with pumpkins. There's six left over there. So, they're making pumpkin pies as fast as they possibly can. Or, pumpkins really don't produce much product compared to what you see displayed out there. That must be it. Because there's almost nothing. 21. So, all those patches that look pretty big, there's a 30. So, here's... Their son is 49 years old. Dude, you need to you need to move out. Um, so there's 300 we've got to get out of this one. As far as a year's worth of food before they will sell. So there's 144, 174, 180, 200, and 50, we'll say. So, yeah, they're, they're not selling anything. Now, they've got a pretty good amount of, of funds in there. Their household income, though, their treasury. Um, you are now at 59, so by upping them to a dollar a month, we're, they're still doing pretty good. Okay, so we may be altering that a little more. How are you guys doing? Do I dare? 1,000. Okay, so you are making a fortune. Not that our town truly needs it, though. I mean, there there is that, but just, I don't know. Fair is fair. <laughs> Ten per month. You're bringing in quite a bit. You are. Or we just kick up the wealth tax more. And clip off ten per that. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to change it right now. If we start hurting in the town, then I might. But what happens when they get too rich? I mean, they're still going to be working the barber surgery. So it's not like we're going to lose workers because they're making too much money. So they, yeah, they should be fine. Anyway, what do we got going on? We are working on the warehouse and we're still not working on the warehouse. What am I missing here? We're determined to get all of those materials over there first, aren't we? We really are. Huh. Okay. Well, you guys have got Hey, I've never noticed that thing actually turning before. 
and it didn't do anything when it got to the end. So it doesn't really mean anything, does it? So we got spaces for for two more guys. Probably should hold off until I actually get the carts, but it, it hasn't made it really made a difference. Okay. So actually, if I don't, that should be fine too, because half of them are going to be taking a rest all the time anyway. Um, we could almost do the same thing here. There's two carts not being used. So we could move two carts over there. Nah, that's fine. Okay. I have a feeling we're not going to get a whole lot done this episode. Just kind of clipping a few buildings off of our list. Getting to that point in the town's day-to-day uh, -to -day routine where things just get done, you know. Autopilot, they're doing their stuff. I'm just walking around reporting like a, I don't know, a sportscaster. <laughs> and the ball hits for the infield. But you were fully, I was going to say fully employed, were fully, um, what do you call that when everything, there are no vacancies, fully rented, and died of old age, and has moved in with her relatives, vacating her home. I've never seen that before. Interesting. Who, Anastasia, has moved in with her son? I've heard of this in this game. Which is very traditional. This is something you would expect to, to happen, you know, back then as well as as right now. You'd hope. Well, now nowadays we just send them to a retirement home. But yeah, that's that's interesting. But I don't know where your home used to be to know that someone else is going to move in there. I don't think there's any way to know that, huh? Oh well. There's a, there's a house going to be filled soon. You are the ashery, and we have not enough bark to start ash production, but now bark is being delivered. Okay, so bark needs to be a thing. All right, so that must be what goes into here. Firewood, charcoal, and bark. Could be. Okay, so let's get the bark going. We did 2,000 here. We have 2,500. I don't think we need to produce anymore. It, it, it produces really quick anyway. So that's probably not a concern. Okay. You are still here. We didn't miss anything, right? Right. You have nine more days. And these are happening. And did the stuff ever get delivered? Right. Their warehouse is complete. The 200 potatoes, we're supposed to have 600. Um, do that again. Potatoes, 400 of 600. So they weren't all there. And they only bought part of it. Same with the oil. And same with the honey. Interesting. So we're behind all the way through. So do we not have... We have laborers on as well. Uh-huh. Well, I, thankfully, reputation hasn't been turned on in the game yet. <laughs> We'd be tanking right now. Okay, so there's the third warehouse. Actually, these guys are closer than those. A little bit of difference there. But I think it looks good. I think it looks intentional. Let's get 5,000 bark in here. And... Do we store ash and lime? That could be. You're here and here. This is certainly the place to do it. So another couple of warehouses in this area could be useful. But let's just do it this way. Ash, 2,500. And lime, 2,500. Not lime. Lie. Lie. Alright, so we get those stored. Let's move these settings over. Okay. And get that going. It is starting to snow. All of the harvest is in with plenty of time this, this year. So we're getting better at it. Yep. And you are being built. And when this builds, that's probably the end of my episode. My arm is really aching. So now I'm going to have to get this figured out. So let's take a look at the 
central granary or what we're calling that at this point so honey is coming in these folks probably are not collecting much from outside they're mostly uh, a gathering point for the rest of the small granaries you know collecting to this area so anyway honey is coming in horseradish apples are still out there and beetroots a few carrots left and onions over here we've got cabbage and cucumbers and garlic and lots of peas so that one market stall that did not have cabbage well she's got cucumbers and garlic now you've got apples let's see you've got you had nothing now you've got cabbage you've got everything okay so there are times of the year when everybody has got a market stall full just depending on what's going on um i just saw beef that reminded me of mutton uh well i can't click over there now have we done any we are getting ready to tan uh gathering we don't have any sheep hides yet okay so we're at 28 of 30 we could just get this going just to see it let's slaughter three um i think that jumped that's done that to me before i hit the first one and it instantly goes away and then i click the next one thinking it was yeah so that you you if you want three you'll get four without realizing it i just want three so we'll send three of those off and actually i think i need to be clicking on you there you go you're the one that does the uh, the transporting so you're going to go down and grab a sheep and we should still have two in there yeah so that, that is what happened so you're going to deal with that and before we deal with the trader i need to make sure that i do have mutton in the uh, in the system right there so you are and over here i want to say it was actually right there nope that one mutton okay so we are able to deal with those meats okay so who was that that was marifa marifa buys our salt you will take 10 10 so let's deal that one and salt there you are and i guess i just can't sell too many things at once for a while we just don't have the laborers to jump in and help we have so many line items here of of items that should have you know been cleared out and they weren't so you're offering to us honey wheat textile broadcloth don't need any of that and don't really have anything to sell we are starting to get some flour built up again though that's good which we process more than that you know that not having it for so long a lot of it's already sold within our own markets so at 330 is probably more like 600 um i don't see anything else in here that we want to sell okay so you are done and let's go see the soap works we are building we've got all the materials in here and we're sitting right there we built this once before boy we've got a tree right there in the front door and i can't do a thing about that can i maybe i can let's try this can i red x you even though you're in a building site Ooh, i can okay let's get rid of those so we can see the front of the building okay the road shooting through here don't need this fence anymore so that can go away that's looking pretty good we're getting the sense of it somewhere in here we're going to be building a central market storage area and then we're going to be connecting this road into here as well so yeah we'll we'll drift over it looks like we'll we'll hit fairly even in there now that i can see the uh, the clearing through the trees yeah so you are now one third done what else is there to check up on has anything been hauled over here we have not hired so why do we not have I thought I transferred these. Apply to all. And yet it's still not. Apply to all. 
Okay, what's going on here? You do not have... Enable seasonal hiring in town hall to gain more control. Um, what just happened? Did we lose our counselor? How did we lose our counselor? That must be the one who just died. And it didn't auto rehire. That's interesting. Counselor, hire women. I guess it could be either at this point. Interesting. So we lost, um, yeah, we lost seasonal hiring all across the town. Huh. So now we have to find somebody who has some education, which actually should be quite a few of our peoples. Can we see education here? Educated adults, 55. Out of 150. So one third are educated. Okay. So waiting for a counselor. Then once that hits, we'll go through and check that out again. Otherwise, I guess I can manually hire somebody. Go that route. Get someone hired over here, which I'm thinking you folks still are only partially employed. No, we got... You two are hired. You are unemployed. And... Just one unemployed in this building. Okay. So did that happen then? Did not happen yet. How about counselor? Right there. Nope, not yet. Okay. So, oh, these aren't going to happen for a while because of that. So we'll shift you guys down over there. All right. So the counselor did not affect our builders. So they're fine. But yeah, we're going to have to find a, a counselor to get that going again. Okay. Uh, Soapworks is almost done. Have we been making? That's Brickworks. Right here. So we're waiting for ash. And then we will use that ash, I assume, to make the lie right afterward. Right. Okay. Um, let me know what pot ash is used for and if it's something that we're going to need for a while that's probably a pottery thing right that's that's my guess and we're not going to be there until we start building on this side of the road so pottery glassworks and the distilleries kind of over in this area the the buildings look similar to each other we are now done okay let's hire two folks I guess it could be anyone we have seasonal hiring working again okay yeah we'll, we'll call it anyone so here let's transfer you your settings one more time so now we are set up with seasonal hiring again all right so two ladies just hired over here not enough tallow okay now we need to start moving all the tallow over here yeah so Lime is over here, and we're pretty much filling that. Bricks are over here, and we're pretty much empty. So we are out of bricks. Bricks are made right here. 130. And we're going to start using a lot of bricks. So I suppose this is going to be a, a heavy employed building. Yeah, so we'll do that. What's happening up here? We told them to clear this out. It still hasn't happened. Stop emptying. So they're still moving things around. There may not be places to put things like clay. May have to... Actually, I don't know where clay is stored. It's not stored in a warehouse. Warehouse. No clay there. Yeah, clay is not stored in a warehouse. So clay is not stored in a stone storage either. It's limestone and iron. I don't know where clay is stored. How do you dump clay? How do you get clay out of something by emptying it? Where do they put it? Do they just bring it back to the clay pit? I don't know. Never actually seen that happen. We've had some clay sitting in here since day one. I could say make empty. I'm just afraid of what it will do. <laughs> so we'll see if, if that works or not. Anyway, so builders are now working on this guy and... I think we're going to see that one build next time. Uh, Dracachi just just uh, 
pulled in, but I'm going to slow down and I think I'm going to call this episode done. And if I don't have an episode out tomorrow, you'll know why. My arm is not going to take the keyboard anymore. So I'm going to have to get this figured out. Maybe I'll do some research online or some stretches or, I don't know, we'll see. Have Mrs. Rambler walk on my back. We'll figure it out. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.